Hi guys, John here. I'm standing on our third beach for today. This is actually Karan Beach. Now, Karan Beach is actually now south of Batong. You actually have to go over the hill to come all the way down here. It's about maybe a 10 minute ride on the motorbike. Now, when I lived here in Phuket and Batong for four years, this is the place I came to go jogging two, three times a week. It's very, very popular because a lot of people don't come to Karan down here. You can actually jog on the beach from one end all the way down to here. It's at least 5K for one way. Going up and down, it's a 10K run going along Karan Beach. If you choose not to run along the Karan Beach, there's actually a path that goes all the way down and back into Kata Beach. Kata Beach is all the way down on the other side of the peninsula where Club Med is at, okay? So here on beach of Karan Beach, it's a lot quieter, a lot a lot more couples will stay here. Most of the resorts are basically across the street along the beach area. A lot of single guys don't here. Single guys will stay in Patong Beach and the couples would like to come down in Quran. So if you like a lot of quiet and you're a couple, don't want the nightlife a lot per se, then I would recommend Quran or Kata Beach. That'll be our next beach that I will show you here. Now we'll do a little bit of a jog. It's gonna take a while, like I mentioned to you guys. It's a good five up and five back. It's at least 10k to this particular job. This is Karan Beach. Now the waves are pretty good. Now the water here is absolutely beautiful, guys. There's the turquoise blue. You got the jet skis down there. Water here, here. It's not too deep also. It's a good swimming beach for swimming. So like I said, this is Karan Beach. It's south of Batong. You gotta go over the hill. One thing I want to notice you guys, when you rent a motorbike, make sure you have your helmet and make sure you have a driver's license from your country. I told you guys this before. Here in Thailand, especially Phuket, the police will have roadblocks all the time. Especially from Bataan to Quran, they do it every time. They'll have a roadblock. They'll pull you over, they'll ask for your driver's license. You don't need an international driver's license. Just your driver's license from your country is okay. Yes, I got pulled over. I showed my license from Hawaii. It was okay. If I didn't have a license, you probably would charge me 300 baht, and I gotta pay right there on the spot. So be sure, when you rent your motorbike, you have your helmet and you have your driver's license. Very, very important, you guys. The weather's getting warmer now. It's a little bit past 10 o'clock. It feels about maybe 32, 33 Celsius now, but it's actually beautiful. This is wonderful water for swimming, guys. Again, this is Karan Beach. This is south of the top. Again, we're still in Phuket Island, guys. So I'll talk to you guys later. Do a little bit of jog, and I'll take over to Kata Beach. Enjoy that Kata Beach over there. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye, John.